Hello, I'm Ronit Thun, Product Marketing at HP Software Applications. Welcome to the sneak peek into HP Application Lifecycle Intelligence, HP ALI version 2.0, a new HP product that brings back sanity to the application lifecycle. As we all know, application teams aspire to build application faster while increasing quality and cutting costs down but they are facing major challenges. Application teams are distributed. Development organizations are using multiple development tools, defect management tool, source code version control tool, build management tool, unit test tool, continuous integration, and of course the developer's IDE. On top of that, each team in the organization has different preferences. One team would like to use Subversion for SCM, another one will use Perforce or CVS. In addition, technology is constantly evolving. Application teams are interested in adopting the most cutting-edge technology, but still must support legacy technology at the same time. Adding to that a variety of practices, from Waterfall to Agile and the different flavors of Agile, Application development in the 21st century turned to be almost impossible. The development manager doesn't know how his team is doing. Are they working on the right priorities? Application teams don't have visibility to high-risk areas in the code and are having difficulties in prioritizing resources and tasks. Teams don't have predictability into the development work Testers don't know what's coming from development and hence can plan their testing effectively ahead of time. Hand of processes of new builds to either testing or production are performed manually and hence are time consuming. Lacking this proper collaboration between the application teams and especially between development and QA leads to high operating costs, delays, and errors in production. HP ALI 2.0 can help with that. With HP ALI, we connect to multiple source code change management tools and build management tools to surface all the information that matters to the application teams across multiple projects, different tools, and distributed teams. We expanded the HP ALM traceability into code change and build management systems. Let's see it in action. In HP ALM, we added a new module, development module. It has two sections, builds and code changes. In the code changes module, HP ALI integrates to the source code change management systems the organization is working with and present the code changes linked and traceable to requirements, defects, and tests that are stored and managed in HP ALM. Code changes marked in blue are associated with requirements, code changes marked in green with defects, and code changes marked in red actually weren't linked by developers to any ALM artifact. With HP ALI, there is also an option to disable commit if code changes aren't linked to an ALM artifact or, for example, during code freeze in order to help with standardizing across best practices. By clicking View Report, we get the change impact report of HP ALI that demonstrates the risk and complexity associated with any requirement or defect based on the amount of code changes associated with a specific artifact. In addition, in this development effort distribution summary, we can check the amount of unassigned code changes and investigate further as for the motivation for coding them to make sure that development time was spent in accordance with the business priorities. The head of SDLC in one of the leading banks told us that only 60% of their change sets are deployed to production. With these practices that HP ALI allows, 
application teams can minimize this waste. Let's move on to the build module. In the build module, HP ALM aggregates build information from the various build management systems the team is working with across the different teams and projects. We can filter to view nightly build or other builds to specify a period of time and a specific release. Let's click here to view this build change report. This report demonstrates the content of this build, the requirements and the defects that motivated this build, and many other metrics such as unit test success rate, unit test coverage, amount of code changes per each artifact, the developers who coded, and test coverage, including test results for this build change. On the top, we have metrics for the overall build, unit test coverage and unit test success rate, including the development effort distribution that we reviewed before. Let's move on to review the overall build report. In the build report, we have graphs describing trends of overall defects versus number of open defects, SCM activity, amount of code changes, requirements, and unassigned code changes. We have the overall build success rate and the period of time. On the bottom, we have this additional information with the ability to click further for more details. What I'd like to highlight here is that HP ALI doesn't copy and duplicate the information, but just integrate, connect to surface it together with this intelligence. All reports, of course, are dynamic and always synced and updated in real time. Let's move on to see the development activity report in the release management module. The development activity report adds many metrics for the development manager to track the release progress, requirement coverage, and also what wasn't covered yet. We have here information about the individuals who contributed to this build and their contribution rate, and many other metrics, as you can see here, about the number of builds, uh, the average build time, number of requirements, number of defects, amount of code changes per each one, total amount of code changes. These metrics simplify release tracking and team's velocity tracking for the development manager. It provides him with immediate information about the stability of this build. He can define SLAs and automate hands-off processes. Together with the other reports, the build report, the build change report, and the change impact report, the development manager gets visibility into how his team is doing and into the quality of the build. For the testing team, it allows to get predictability into what's about to come from development, the content, health, and risk of the new build, and plan testing effectively ahead of time. We can add the IDE plugin and provide developers with access to this information right from their IDE to allow them to review requirements and last change sets that are connected to their task or latest change sets that may have caused the defect and allow them to accelerate coding or bug remediation time. Based on customer demand, with HP ALI, we expanded HP ALM traceability into code chain sets and build management systems to provide all these capabilities, predictability to the development work, change impact analysis and risk-based assessment. We simplify the life of the development manager and we allow to apply governance policies to ensure the development time is spent in accordance with the business priorities, while allowing developers freedom of choice, working with the tools they would like to adopt and work with, HP ALI 2.0 provides visibility into everything that matters and restores sanity 
to the application lifecycle in our post-Steve Jobs world.